ओके बेटा नाउ वी वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट सम जनरलाइजेशन सो वेन इट कम्स टू जनरलाइजेशन देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ जनरलाइजेशन विच यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी बेटा पहला जनरलाइजेशन बोलता है दैट वी आर गोइंग टू मेक आर ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन ऑफ मेनी वेरिएबल्स राइट एंड कंस्ट्रेंट ऑल्सो सो इट्स लाइक दिस If you now get utility from many variables, right? Subject to your constraint also from many variables. So when I talk about constraint from many variable, what does this mean? It means that now you have because you have many goods that you are consuming, you are doing some expenditure on each good, right, beta? so then what you are going ahead and doing it will be something like this subject to p1 x1 plus p2 x2 till pn xn is equal to m so when you go ahead and when you do this this is what is known as many constraints to so, ek generalization jo hame karni hai the first generalization that we want to do this is going to be a function of many variables the second generalization that i want to do that is going to be more than one constraint that is going to be more than one constraint so usme kya hoga beta you will have f of x1 x2 subject to multiple constraints like g of x1 x2 is equal to c u of x1 x2 is equal to d b of x1 x2 is equal to v aise ke bahut sare constraints diye honge so we want to do two generalizations now the first generalization is where we have the objective function and constraint in many variables and second in which we have multiple constraints that we want to consider ha beta theek hai beta so now i'm starting with the first one so i want to maximize or minimize ye mera objective function hai f of x1 till xn subject to this constraint so you see that now i have written multiple variables here and multiple variables here now i go ahead and i put a lagrange so i get my objective function minus lambda and then i just put a negative sign equal to 0 ye mera constraint ho gaya and i get my constraint here but i will differentiate this with respect to x1 equated to 0 differentiated with respect to x2 equated to 0 till xn equated to 0 and then differentiated with respect to lambda and equated to 0 aise hi karte the jab x1 x2 aur lambda the so beta here you will have n equations when you differentiate with respect to x1 x2 till xn and ek lambda se equation hai ye so there will be in total n plus 1 equations of course jo lambda se equation aayegi that will give you the constraint itself hai na yahi to diya tha usne it will give you back the constraint itself but you have to go ahead and understand that in total there will be n plus 1 equations and n plus 1 variables n plus 1 variables kya hoga beta x1 x2 x3 till xn and lambda theek hai ji so beta when i will differentiate this with respect to x1 kya ho jayega differentiation of this with respect to x1 minus lambda differentiation of this with respect to x1 equal to 0 first order condition likh rahe hain when i will differentiate this with respect to x2 so differentiation of this with respect to x2 minus lambda differentiation of this with respect to x2 equal to 0 aise kar kar ke by doing a very similar thing like this you will get your n equations so differentiate it with respect to xn minus lambda differentiate this with respect to xn and equal to 0 at last when you differentiate it with respect to lambda you will get back your constraint this is your constraint that you have got back so in total there are going to be n plus 1 equations in n plus 1 variables ek example le lete hain so this is now a three variable case so you see here that i want to maximize this objective function this is in three variables subject to this constraint this is also three variable so beta i am forming like lagrange so i am going to go ahead and write the objective function minus lambda 
एंड इसको मैंने रीराइट कर दिया x प्लस वाई प्लस जेड माइनस ट्वेल्व इक्वल टू जीरो तो ये वाला पार्ट मेरा यहाँ पे आ गया बट आई एम डिफरेंशिएटिंग दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू x सो एक्स स्क्वायर का डिफरेंशिएशन हो गया टू एक्स इंटू वाई क्यूब इंटू जेड माइनस लामडा एंड x का डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ x इज वन इक्वल टू जीरो so if i just take this on the other side i will get 2 xy cube z is equal to lambda like that i will differentiate it with respect to y also so x square as it is ho jayega y cube ka differentiation 3 y square ho jayega z as is rahega minus lambda differentiation of y ho jayega beta 1 this is 1 differentiation of y will be 1 so you equate it to 0 and you will get the second equation Just like that, beta, you will get the third equation. So z का differentiation will be one, and remaining will come as it is. And यहाँ पे minus lambda equal to zero. You have three equations, and the fourth equation will be with respect to lambda. So beta lambda तो सिर्फ यहाँ पे आ रहे हैं. तो lambda का differentiation will be one. It is followed by a minus sign. So minus one into the constraint itself, you will equate it to zero. So you will get back this constraint only. So when you differentiate it with respect to lambda, constraint ही आता है. So you have four equations and four variables. The first three equations are with respect to x, y, and z, and the fourth equation is when you differentiate it with respect to lambda. Clear हुई बात? अच्छा बेटे, now just have a look here. So when I will divide equation one and two. So if I just say two x y cube z, three x square y square z. Is equal to lambda by lambda. This this gets cancelled. Then beta z and z gets cancelled. This is x. This is y. So you will get two y by three x is equal to one. So beta y will be three x by two. So you will be able to generate y as a function of x. Now beta you can go ahead and divide one and three. One and three. So what will happen in this case? So you can see that you will have two x y cube z equal to lambda x square y cube by lambda. This will be one y cube y cube cancelled x and x cancelled. So it will be two by x into z equal to one. So two z is equal to x. So z will be x by two. So, but you have got both y and both z as of a, a function of x. But now you know the constraint, don't we? We know the constraint that x plus y plus z is twelve. So I will just plug this value instead of the constraint. Instead of y, I am putting the value of y. Instead of z, I am putting the value of z. Everything is in terms of x, and I will find out x. So I will get the value of x as four. I will get the value of x as four. Now, ये x four आ गया तो just put it back in this function and in this. So you will get y and z. So y will be two and z will be two. A uh, y will be six and z will be two. But now lambda भी निकाल लें. That's the fourth variable. So can you see from equation one that lambda is two x y cube z? Bus fine. Or third equation say lambda is x square into y cube. Kisi bhi ek mein just put the value and get the value of lambda. So from equation three we know that lambda is x square y cube. Just put these here. Value of x I found out as four. Value of y I found out as six. Put down these values here and get the answer. So what did we see? We saw that whenever you have many variables, it does not matter. The analysis is the same. You need to differentiate it with each variable, with lambda, equate each of them to zero, and then solve these n plus one equations and n plus one variables. Right, beta? Right. 